Hello everybody, this is Riots96 back from the dead and back from G-Fest all in the same nice. week. It's going to be a collection update for everything I've got. I'm going to try and keep it quick. G-Fest was definitely a great time as always. You should definitely go if you haven't. I think 2019 was a tiny bit better than this year, but this year had a lot of good things that, that happened in the new hotel. And I also want to give a shout out to everyone I met over the weekends. There was a lot of new faces I haven't seen before and a lot of new people I've never talked to besides Instagram or YouTube or things of that nature. So I want to give a big shout out to everyone who I met, who came up to me, who talked, um, who recognized me, all that cool stuff. So without further ado, this is the 2022 G-Fest Hall. What would G-Fest be and what would G-Fest Hall be without the best thing money can buy? And that is obviously the G-Fest program guide. Next, I have the G-Fest program guide. Next, after that, I have the G-Fest program guide. What? And after that, I have the pleasure to tell anyone who does this to stop putting the program guide in your collection halls. I will do absolutely nothing if you keep doing this, so you have been warned. Alright, seriously though, uh, to start... Um, I got trading card from Kaiju Illustrator, Green Bronto Studio. So if you want to check them out, please do that. Awesome art, had to get Jet, had to, of course. Next, I didn't get these at G-Fest. I'm just tossing these in because they came a day before. Um, I got the Dimajin VHS set. I love Dimajin. I have them on Blu-ray, um, but I just figured display purposes. I got Ultraman. Mebius collection off of Amazon. This was also a day before G-Fest, but I'm still counting it. The X plus 25 centimeter Kong from Godzilla vs. Kong. A little bit disappointed how this guy came out. The <coughs> promotional pictures looked a lot better for him than the actual final product. But what can you do? I mean, it's another Kong figure. Now is where some of the meat's coming in. I'm gonna give a shout out to my buddy Godzilla fan 45, aka Jonathan, for hooking me up with these. Playmates, Gorosaurus, and the Playmates, Rodan. Uh, nice freebie, so thank you very much, buddy. Flashback. Now is where some of the meat's coming in. This shit look nasty as fuck! Armies, we have the meat. Alright, you can never go wrong with free figures at the convention. These, Some of these guys were just, I don't know, people were putting out figures like they were Easter eggs for some reason. But I wasn't complaining. I think I got six figures and I gave most of them away to kids or my friends. Um, but I did keep two. So this is a Bandai Gashapon Gigan. And then I also got... An Ultraman Zero. He was right on one of the tables as soon as I left the dealer's room, along with a couple other Ultra figures. We got a Chibi Mogira. I've been looking for this guy for quite some time, and I finally found him at the convention. Um, better than eBay and online prices. So I found finally the Chibi Jet Jaguar. Finally, he looks absolutely. Beautiful. I love the black paint they decided to give them. Can never go wrong with these ones either. I sold my Bandai Creations one a while ago, but I wanted an upgraded one. Uh, I found the 6 inch Space Godzilla with tag. The newer release that was from 2019. Uh, next was the Ultraman Z Alpha Edge figure. I don't get too many SH figures anymore. Ultraman Z, I really enjoyed the show when I watched it, when it was airing weekly on YouTube. And uh, Alpha Edge was one of my favorite forms of Z, so I decided to get him. 
one of my other top finds of the convention, I feel like, because I think, to my knowledge, there's only two booths that had this specific uh, Gashapon, and it's the Godzilla Skeleton Gashapon. It's the glow-in-the-dark one, so the green one right here. And I got this in the autograph room with Takarada's uh, children, who actually had some things up for sale, and this was one of them. And this was a pretty good price, $25 for this, which is a lot better than <coughs> what you'll find online. So I'm very happy with that. And speaking of Mr. Takarada, also in the same room, I got the in-memory uh, pin set of Akira Takarada, um, $20, pretty cool. And I got signed by both his son and daughter, uh, picture on screen. But very cool to meet them. They were very humble, very uh, sweet, getting to talk to them for a minute. So I am a big collector of the Yuji Sakai sets. I do have a good size collection already, but G-Fest was definitely the, the place to continue to uh, fill up on these guys. So I'm gonna kinda go rapid fire on these. Godzilla vs. Mega Gears. This was $15. Very cool one, very hard to get one. Godzilla Final Wars, I think he was also $15, same booth. Uh, Showcase that Kaiju is where I got the majority of these. This is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, uh, I believe also $15. Definitely one of the coolest ones I have in the collection overall. And I'm shocked I, I actually found this one. I think this one's a little harder to find online, I'm not too sure. This is the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah one, where Godzilla stops the sub underwater. A very cool figure, very uh, very different. I love all the poses of these Yuji Sakai figures. They're just... In the middle of my fucking vlog, I hate you. He's talking so highly of this guy. He just decides to pull that on me. <laughs> Alright. All right, he's, he's just going to be for now. The last one I got from uh, the convention was the Godzilla 2000. Nice. Yuji Sakai model set. I believe it's the scene at the end where Godzilla saves the world from Orga and then decides to decimate the world at the same time uh, when he was kind of having a mood swing, I guess. If faster than you're wrong, but it'll help if you just sing along. Bye. <laughs> Online it's going for 50 plus, I think, was the only listing I saw. And I got him for, who would have guessed, 15 bucks. I bought a lot of these together, so uh, the kind of people at Showcase Saikaiju gave me uh, a discount when I bought a couple um, at the same time. I'm actually doing a video, a mystery unboxing video that may or may not be out before this video or after this video. It'll be on the channel at some point. My good friend of mine bought a mystery box at G-Fest, but you'll have to go check that video out if you want to see what I got. <laughs> All right, next. Hey, my channel. All right, my channel. How many subscribers do you have? But for now, I'll show you this. I got this Ultraman Hikari. Light up figure. You stupid. And also this shot glass of Akira Fukube. I also got the Fukube 100, A Legacy of Monster Music. All right, let's keep the ball moving with uh, some autographs I got. The man, or <laughs> the boy himself, Hiroyuki Kawasi, who played uh, the young boy in Hedora, and who also played the young boy in Godzilla vs. Megalon. One of the coolest things I now own in the entire collection of the Jet Jaguar suit actor and Mr. Kwasi himself both signed it so now I just have to complete the set. I'm two for four so I'm close halfway there and last but definitely not least for the autograph room is Tomoko Ai who I was able to get this print signed. This was the last print. Um, thankfully this was the one I wanted to get signed from her and uh, it was the last one in the room. Very very awesome person to meet. 
Very happy I was able to get both of those uh, signatures from them. You know, meeting the actor from Megalon who was in the film with Jet Jaguar on his shoulders, actually touching him. Um, something I wish I could do every day of my life. What? I got this book for the plane ride home. This is the Behind the Kaiju Curtain, a journey onto Japan's biggest film sets. And I also got this autograph in the book that showcased that Kaiju had. Uh, 25 bucks. The man, the myth, the legend, Hiroshi Kanatani, graciously gave me a freebie in 2019, and I'll show a picture. Uh, he saw my Jet Jaguar shirt, and he just kind of gave it to me. So I went up to him this G-Fest and just thanked him for doing that. In return, he gave me his comic book for free. Uh, feeling bad about it, I paid him uh, because he's just a really nice standout guy. And then he also gave me his ultra sketch uh, artwork for free too. So thank you very much, sir. I got a picture with you. I wish I was able to get these signs, but better than nothing. So just want to give him a, a big shout out. Go check out his artwork. Uh, one of the best for sure at G-Fest. These I did not get at G-Fest, but they did come today, so I'm counting them. This is the Kaiju Polaris, and this is Robert Scott Field's original Kaiju. Um, these are from the company Cast in Japan. And what's really cool about this is that not only did I get the two Cast models, not only did they both Come with their boxes, here they are, Polaris. Not only did they both come signed by the man himself, Robert Scott Field, I also got this board signed by M11. No idea when he's coming back to G-Fest, hopefully it's sooner rather than later. So next are the grails, I would say, for this year's G-Fest. First off, of the heavy hitters, I got the boys, the vinyl, Paradise, Marmots, Sanda, Gara, The War, and The Gargantulas. I got this from Half-Baked Fantasies booth. So I'm very happy to have picked these guys up. Thank you very much, Nate. I also got one of my grails I've had for years and years and years. Um, I could never find this guy on eBay. He was always too expensive for me at the time. I saw him at the show three times at this G-Fest and I got the one complete in box with everything with the box. This is the transforming Mogira figure. Here he is in all his glory. I have waited so long to get this figure. I am so happy. I got him and the Gargantua was in a joint deal that Nate helped me out so much with. Amazing deal. This was done on Sunday and this was the these two were the biggest purchases I had at the show. So thank you very much, Nate. You definitely made my G-Fest one to remember with that. I did not have this guy on my radar, but of course, you know, I'm the Jet Man. I gotta support my boy. <laughs> if I see Anything I don't have jet related, I will guarantee try and pick it up. And this was one of the ones I did not have. This was the Glow in the Dark Bullmark reissue. I believe came out in the last 10 years in the Easter egg kind of bundle. Um, but it is Glow in the Dark. And I do have the original one from the 70s. Otaku America's booth saw this, had to grab it. So thank you very much. These are my top two, my very top two wants and picks for G-Fest. These are at, were at the top of my list. So happy I got them both. Um, I'm gonna show this guy first, or these guys, because they still had a couple figures at the end of Sunday, and they didn't sell out as fast as I thought they would've. But they are the Wolfman YMSF figures. I cannot believe they came out with a Wolfman figure from the Godzilla vs. Wolfman fan film by Mr. Nakajima but here we are in 2022 we have Wolfman figures I got both variants my plan is to take him out of the bag and hopefully get him custom painted by someone 
and leave this brown variant in the bag. So cool, so, so, so cool. I was so happy when I went to the booth and uh, I saw, saw both of them. I uh, wasn't sure how the supply and demand was gonna be, but they had plenty. And along with that came the Wolfman anime art. Anything Wolfman Godzilla really with the Lost film. Insanely cool to me that it goes from a Lost film and it's a fan film to kind of getting all this attention, so. And last, but definitely not least, was what I would say the best purchase I had at G-Fest. Of course, Half-Baked Fantasies booth. Thank you very much again. I wrote on my list, first thing in dealer's room, run to booth. As soon as I got in the dealer's room, I ran to his booth and I got it. Uh, great price too. And this is the Firefighter Red Gigabrain Jet Jaguar. Nate posted a picture of me with this figure at his booth first day. Um, <laughs> so that was kind of cool. But this guy definitely means a lot because I remember the first G Fest I went to, they had the Bandai Firefighter Jet Jaguar. And at the time, I was a kid with my dad, and I, you know, money was getting a little tight uh, in there. And my dad bought them for me because he saw how much I wanted them. So. This, uh, this one kind of reminds me of that, uh, my first G-Fest and my most current G-Fest getting a Firefighter Jet Jaguar. Best pickup I think I had. Only Firefighter Giga Brain Jet at the convention, the whole convention. This is a really hard one to come by. Usually goes for hundreds online. Got him for close to 100, so very excited, very happy to get the man, the myth, the legend, Firefighter Jet Jaguar. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the G Fest 2022 haul. I got a lot, and I mean a lot, of cool things this year. I was able to get a lot of things I wanted. I was able to get a lot of things I didn't even know I wanted. Um, but overall, it was a great year. That being said, hopefully the video doesn't run too long. It looks like it's lasting a little long. I'm gonna have to cut out a lot. But thank you very much for watching this. I'm gonna continue making weekly uploads to this YouTube channel. Please go check out my newest music video I posted on the channel. It was my G-Fest music video for this year. The music video contest unfortunately got canceled, so I uploaded it on YouTube. I worked very hard on it, so if you wanna go check that out, please do. And I also have a mystery unboxing video from G-Fest. It's very disappointing, and if you like to see someone getting shafted a lot, uh, definitely go check that video out because that would be a good one. But everyone, thank you very much. Thank you for a fun G-Fest. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys next week. This is Rise96, signing out.